Welcome to the Practical Nurse New Graduate Orientation. This video will provide information about new graduate registration and the process for writing the Canadian Practical Nurse Registration Examination, also known as the CPNRE. Now that you are nearing the end of your practical nursing program, there are some things you need to know about registering with the College of Licensed Practical Nurses of Alberta, or the CLPNA. This presentation will cover the information you need to know so you can start working as an LPN. The information that we will cover in this presentation includes provisional registration, how to apply, and when you might need an extension. It will also cover how to complete the CPNRE and the jurisprudence module. To work as an LPN in Alberta, you need to be registered with us, the CLPNA. We regulate the practical nurse profession. This means that we oversee the education, registration, continuing competence, and conduct of LPNs in the province. Today, we are covering our registration process. To register with the CLPNA, you need to complete an application and meet all of the application requirements. We will take a look at each of these requirements. The first step to becoming registered is finishing your practical nursing program. Once you do this, you can begin the process of applying with us. As Alberta graduates, you have two options when applying with the CLPNA. You can apply for provisional registration, or you can apply for the CPNRE only. If you have provisional registration, this means that you have met all requirements except the successful completion of the CPNRE. Provisional registration is valid for a maximum of 365 days. It will allow you to practice as an LPN under supervision while waiting to write the CPNRE. If you apply for the CPNRE only, you will not be able to work until you obtain an active permit. Today we'll cover the requirements for provisional registration. If you only wish to write the exam, please email studentservices at clpna.com. If you have questions about the specific practice you can perform as a provisional LPN, you can check out the resources on our website. You can also email practice at clpna.com or call us at 780-484-8886. Once you've finished your practical nurse program, the next step in obtaining a provisional practice permit is applying to the CLPNA. To access the provisional application, please visit our website, www.clpna.com. Once you get to the home page, click on the orange My CLPNA Login button located in the top right corner of the page. If you don't see it there, you will find it in the main menu. Once you click on My CLPNA, you will see this login screen. Click on the sign up button to create your own My CLPNA account. There will be detailed instructions on how to create and confirm your new account. Note that if you have a student membership, you will already have an account with us. After you finish creating your new My CLPNA account, you will need to log in. When you log in for the first time, you will land on this dashboard. This is the main page where you can access important information from the CLPNA, including applications, exams, continuing education, and more. To apply to the Provisional Register, click the Apply button next to Provisional to start the online application. After clicking the Apply button, you will need to select the Alberta New Grad Stream to access the correct application. There is a set of requirements that every applicant needs to complete in order to obtain a Provisional Practice Permit in Alberta. The requirements are as follows. You will need to submit a completed application and pay the $100 application fee. You will also need to complete a criminal record check by using the link on the application form. Please note that your background check must be completed using the link. You also need to send us a copy of your official transcript. Please check with your program about their process on how to request this. In addition, you will need to upload two copies of valid government-issued ID. If you have ever been registered with another regulatory body in Canada or another country, you will also need to provide a verification of registration, and you will need to get professional liability insurance. You can get insurance using the direct link on the application, or you can select your own provider. 
If you select your own provider, you will need to make sure that your insurance meets our minimum coverage requirements. You will also need to complete the jurisprudence requirement for your application. The jurisprudence module helps LPNs in Alberta gain awareness of expectations for practice in Alberta. This module was designed by the CLPNA to build your understanding of laws, regulations, and practice standards that govern the LPN profession. To access the jurisprudence module, log in to your MyCLPNA account and click on the tab labeled Learning Modules. If you have any difficulties, please contact the CLPNA office. This module can be taken at your own pace. You will have unlimited opportunities to write the final exam. Once all application requirements have been met, your application will go into the assessment phase so a decision can be made. Decision letters and final invoices are issued within 10 business days of all application requirements being met. If you accept the terms in the decision letter, please pay the invoice on your MyCLPNA account. This invoice includes the cost of provisional registration until November 30th and the CPNRE fees. For a complete list of the fees, please check the fee schedule at www.clpna.com. Once you pay the online invoice, your provisional permit will automatically be generated. You can access this through your MyCLPNA account dashboard. As soon as you get this, you can practice as a provisional LPN in Alberta. Please note that you will not receive a hard copy of your permit. If you have any questions regarding your application, please email studentservices at clpna.com. As previously mentioned, a provisional practice permit can only be held for a maximum of 365 days. During these 365 days, you may need to complete a provisional practice permit extension. The CLPNA registration year runs December 1st through November 30th. This means that all permits, including provisional permits, expire on November 30th. If you do not complete the CPNRE and receive your results within the same registration year that you obtained your provisional permit, you will need to complete a provisional extension to receive the full 365 days. The provisional practice permit extension process is completed online through your MyCLPNA account. Once the extension process opens for the year, you will be officially notified by email. Provisional extensions are only required if you do not obtain an active permit within the same registration year that your provisional practice permit is issued. For example, if you are issued a provisional practice permit on October 1st, it would expire on November 30th. You will be required to submit a provisional extension form to be eligible for a permit in the next registration year. With the example on the screen, after you complete your provisional extension, your permit would expire on September 30th. If you do not complete a provisional extension by November 30th, you forfeit the remaining time you can hold a provisional practice permit and do not qualify for another permit until you have passed the CPNRE. To continue practicing as an LPN beyond the expiry of your provisional permit, you will need to obtain active registration. To obtain active registration, you will need to successfully complete the CPNRE. Once you have obtained your provisional practice permit, you will automatically be placed into the first available CPNRE window. The CPNRE is held six times a year. You can find the list of exam windows and their corresponding deadlines on our website. For you to be placed in an exam window, your application must be approved and paid for by the deadline. Please note, it can take three to five business days to review your application and up to 10 business days to receive a decision letter and final invoice. Once you have obtained your provisional practice permit, we will send an email with more information on the CPNRE process within 10 business days. This email will include information such as the window you have been placed into, and when you can expect to receive a booking email from the testing company, Measure Learning. If you do not receive your email, please check your junk and spam folders. We recommend that you add CLPNA to your safe senders list. 
The CPNRE is a computer-based exam facilitated by Measure Learning. You have four opportunities to pass the exam. Please visit www.cpnre.ca for prep guides, FAQs, and more information about the CPNRE. Once you have written the CPNRE, your results will be posted on your MyCLPNA account four to six weeks after the testing window closes. You will receive an email when the results are available. To access your profile, log in to your MyCLPNA account and click on the My Profile tab. CPNRE results are given out in a pass or fail format. The CLPNA does not receive specific marks and cannot tell you what percentage you got on the exam. If you have taken the exam more than once, all records, previous and current, will appear on your online profile. Please note that the date that appears beside your exam is the standard date that all candidates writing in that window see. It does not reflect the date you are scheduled to take the exam. If you have questions about your specific exam date, you can contact the CLPNA office. For those who pass the CPNRE while their provisional permit is valid, you will automatically have active registration at no additional cost for the remainder of the registration year. Thank you for watching this presentation. If you have any questions, please contact the CLPNA.